Previously on Preps, Cappy Pondexter, one of the best point guards in the city. My brother, he, uh, he used to play like uh, in the neighborhood and stuff. I used to go with him. That's right. Cappy's a girl, but all the fellas come and see her play. Uh, Cappy, she got game. She can play with the she can play with the boy. A city champion. It's us. We won't be denied. And Cal and the boys on a road trip to the University of Illinois. Cal checking out his next campus and making new friends. You're a chick magnet. I just talked to those girls. No, it's it's for just a show. Cal, you're definitely not down as Grove anymore. Hey, how, how long until we're at the strip club? I'm the king of the black top, cooping half court shots. I come correct, your stats are whack compared to points that I drop. I play to win and I'm playing for keeps. I'm keeping my game tight and fulfilling my hoop dreams. Real kids. I'm Eddie Curry, senior, Thornwood High. Real dreams. I'm Kyle Kleckner, senior, Downers Grove North High School. Real life. I'm Sean Dockery, Jr., Julian High. These are the real stories of preps, Chicago Hoops. Sean Dockery and the Julian Jaguars are one of the toughest teams in Chicago. And every time Sean's got a big game, his family's there to represent. They ain't gonna let you on the west side, huh? <laughs> but today's game ain't no cakewalk for Julian. They're playing the Marshall Commandos one of the top teams in the public league and favorites to win the city championship. We are ready now, dog. We in the game. The Chicago area is one of the toughest places to play high school basketball in the country. Some of the greatest basketball talent in the world got their start right here. Guys like Isaiah Thomas, Kendall Gill, Mark Aguirre, and LaFonso Ellis. If Julian's gonna make noise in the playoffs, they're gonna have to beat the number one teams like Marshall. Marshall, you know, one of the teams made famous in the movie, Hoop Dreams. Sean and Julian played well, but Marshall was too tough. We lost to him at uh, Chicago State. Uh, that's after we lost to Warrior Park. We played two games that day. I ain't saying we, man, we was tired. They was tired too, so they so they win. They won fair and square. Julian has a very strong team, very talented team. Sean Darkley, Anton Palmer, and they really outstand across the country. So right now, you know, as a team, we just trying to build, you know, work on everything, try to glue, stick together, and play as one. We beat them, but we ain't beat them like we could have or like we wanted to. No, but I mean, it was a good opportunity for us to play them. You know, get a chance to play a Red South team. You know, they're, they're a good team. I think we came out there play a little harder than them, but I think we didn't play give it our all like we will be doing. But Marshall ain't got time to enjoy their win. The last game of the regular season is coming up, and it's against Will Bynum and Crane. Winner takes home the Red West Conference title, so you know it's time to get back to work. When the Marshall players get in the gym, they ain't nothing to protect the rims. Nasty. That's 6 8 center Kelly Whitney. Get out of here. That's for Justin Bowen. That was just stupid. Ronnie Davis, nicknamed Boo Front. Hold up. My man Boo Front just went through a serious thing. But why do they call him Boo Front? They started talk, talking about me. I was putting on front. That's how I got the name Boo Front. My name was Boo at first. I was like, yeah, I'm dunking. But I was never dunk. I was just putting on the front. So they started calling me Boo Front. Man, he can fly. He be kicking him with God. Right, right, right. He can fly. He like that. He's like that. He kicking with God, no doubt. To me, he play like Vince, you know. He don't, not, not only does he have the high jumping ability, he can shoot the outside shot real deep. And he got mad handles. So that's a nasty combination right there. That's real nasty. Kelly Whitney, Marshall's number one gun. Next year, he's gonna play basketball at Michigan. It's how, how, how Boofer be up here. Yeah. Be Sconey. That's yeah, yeah. how he be up here with the Nets, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Kicking the bobo. 
I got a great family. They always support me. A, a great grandma, which I stay with. My grandma and my parents, you know, they support me and do everything I do, you know. I always there to, to give me advice, and I think that's that's great. Cause some kids don't have that all the time. My grandma cleaned me Oh, somebody probably came in here and threw some stuff in the closet. Uh, <laughs> you see, my mother I'm calls a lot. Tell the world. <laughs> the, all, tell all the world. And so his trophies are all over the place. And this is Kelly when he was on one of his farms. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Is that Dusty? Yeah. Look, that's how, how often he uh -huh. does his room. He thought he was Mr. Cool Breeze. True fam. True. Uh, you are true one. No, you are true. Glad the best. Look at those. Dust the shoes off. Like, can you get the size of the shoes? This is my auntie, Deborah. Right. Like another mother. Right. Like a fourth mother. Yeah, you ain't got to today. Right, right. Keep them right. in check here, you know? <laughs> when you got a lot of women in your family, they never stop roasting you. Hey, we used to be the, what kind of sisters we used oh, to be? We was the point of sisters. We was the point of sisters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just followed them. I just followed the oldest. That's all I did. I followed them. We all get in the mirror. We be dancing down there. Hey. Sharon was dancing too. <laughs> Sharon was amazing. <laughs> We will talk all day long. <laughs> so that's going to show you when he goes to school how many people are watching. Watching, watching, watching. You gotta get the best education or we're gonna bring our point of stuff on down and say, I bet you got it. You go. That's right, ain't that right? Good. Yeah, I'm a great friend. Great friend. Every time I, here comes my aunties again. <laughs> Kelly is close to all of his aunties, but has a special bond with one of them who had a son who died way too young. I had real good support sisters. You know, one thing my auntie Lisi might not um, really know is that when um, her son passed, he played, you know, he loved playing basketball. And at the time, you know, I wasn't really a much of a basketball fan. But now since you know, I get older, you know, how much he loved basketball, you know, it's really making it so, you know, I can live through his dreams. Cause he loved basketball, you know. And to this day, I wear um, his name on my shoe. I remember. I didn't know this, Kelly. This is this is so touching. Oh wow. Oh, Kelly. I didn't know that. It's always been like my dream to go to a big time college or go to the NBA for the NBA. You know, it starts off as a dream, but you know, it's still, I'm starting to get there. I think I'm gonna go to college. Keep on playing hard. Keep on standing in the books. I'm my grandma always. I'm gonna go to college. Keep on playing hard. Keep on standing in the books. I'm my grandma always. I'm gonna go to college. Keep on playing hard. Keep on standing in the books. I'm my grandma always. I'm always put when you put first, and I think I do great. You know? Whatever you put in, you know, you have to do, give it your best shot. And if you give it your best shot, I guarantee you can make it. If you, you you're gonna always, it, nobody's perfect. If you make a mistake, fall down with the sun, say, get back up. That's what I believe in. Mm -hmm. He has to keep God in his life, and he must get an education. You know, and and love his family, stick with his family. He got every all the keys of life, like Stevie wanted to say, all the keys of life. You have them all. <laughs> Am I right? You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Coming up, the Marshall Commando's secret weapon. Most well, underrated player in the world. Justin Bowen. It's all American right here. Most well, underrated player in the world. Kelly Whitney ain't the only top gun on Marshall's squad. Yes, boy, how do you feel being underrated? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's cool, you know. I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? But I like when people sleep on me, so after the game, they just say, man, that guy killed us, man. He was number 25, man. That kid, he was just amazing. He was flying and shooting and... That's that Justin Bowen type stuff, man. They give me a little bit of disrespect. I mean, I'm the type of player whether if it takes me to just go two points for us to win, that's what I'm gonna do. If it takes me putting up 30, that's what I'm gonna do. Whatever it takes us to win, that's what I'm gonna contribute. He's gonna prove himself every <laughs> shoe as he do every game against Crane and Mom. We might even give him 30, you know. He's gonna be at Crane, though. I'm saying, though, no matter where we at, you know. We're diaper dandies. That's what we like, man. We're PC players, baby. Number one. Because Kale to the law said so. One time, it's we true. Juke it up. We juke it up. Kelly and Justin got a lot of pride, and when they hear smack being talked behind their back, they can't let it go, even if they did hear it on preps. 
fuck that mean? That young man, Najib Eccles, he told her, he told, tell. Yeah. Pretty much, I don't want to say that. <laughs> he told her, tell. We beat the Chicago Fire this year. Me, Eddie, and Jason, basically, that's it. They had everybody. Will Bynum, Luther Sean Darkery. Oh, they had everybody against just us three. We beat them. You know what I'm saying? What can I say? What can we say? He lied. We beat them at the ball. He lied. We, we put yeah. SmackDown overtime, you know. Eddie Curry hit a bucket from overtime. I came down, jumped over some white stud here, dunked him. And then, you know, Sean Darkery, Luther Head, LeVar Seal, and that was it. <laughs> that was the game. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, man. We was beating them so bad, though. I forgot we lost. You know, some people, they just want to say, oh, we beat them because we were so talented and stacked. Man, he can't stick none of us. Right? You know what I'm saying? He's a decent player, but he's not real. He cannot stick Kale to the law. Or go to the dean. Yeah. It's similar like that. We're taking city and state. So for all the non-believers, you heard it here first. Kale to the law. We're taking city and state. When you the top player, even the school security guards are on your back when the big game is coming up. You get on home somewhere. Uh, I am. Hey, oh, hey, we got a mission. Hey, so no doubt. We, we on a mission tomorrow. I'm telling you. Don't have me come over there. It's going to be serious, Wade. No doubt. I want to lie to you. Test the game. I love this game. He's a, he's a slasher. He's, uh, this game is to me is like a little bit of Sean Mary and a little trail speedway, you know. He can dribble. He can shoot the three, rebound, uh, defense. Everything, shoot the ball, drink some water, coach, <laughs> everything. I think the coach won. Everything. It's awesome, man. It's great. Growing up in you know, ghetto, man, you know, a lot of things you see, man. You, and you see yourself being old and you see yourself not wanting to be in this, you know, position. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong, my mother, you know. I mean, we own our building and all that, you know. So, but this is not a place where I would like to settle my family down in. You know what I'm saying? My main goal is, you know, to be successful in life, whether it's, you know, being in the NBA or, you know, being a doctor, because, you know, I'm going to go to college, I'm majoring in psychology. Okay. So, I mean, whatever I do in life, I just want to be successful, you know, so I can, you know, have a nice family and have my family in the best neighborhood possible or whatever, you know. I want my, my life to just be love, you know what I'm saying? He's always been a good kid. He's always played basketball. Oh. I have to go on the court take him off, tell him to come off the playground. He get embarrassed sometimes, because he be the only one mother out there telling him, let's go, you gotta go home. He loved the game basketball. If I ain't hoping, you know, I'm with my girl. You know, I, I spend a lot of time with my girl, because you know, most relationships I get in, they really don't last too long, because the girl's always like, you, you always putting basketball in front of me. You know, when I'm gonna get some time, you know, but I let them know I gotta take care of business first, so, you know, my free time, and I'm hooping, or you know, I mean, my yeah, I be hooping a lot in my free time, but most time with my girl, you know, singing to him, you know, you know, I got skills on the singing. So suddenly I feel like I wanna break through, jump in my six and come and see you, girl. I'm gonna do something that's brand new, and I got a kinky surprise for you. Damn. Somebody come watch us play, you know, they, oh yeah, they got the big guy, you know, Kelly Whitney. So, you know, when they come watch, you know, that's when they come to see Kelly. Then when I kill, you know what I'm saying, they probably be like, oh, well, Kelly just had a bad game, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't gonna look at, well, yeah, he put up 25, man, that boy's going to work, you know what I'm saying? They figuring, we all, Kelly just had a bad game, so somebody else on their team just stepped up that game. You play teams like Crane and Westhouse, and man, you have to get charged, you know, because, you know you're playing against top superstars, so right. you gotta get charged you're playing against them camps. You couldn't lock these boys out of the gym. For some of them, it's the last regular season high school game of their lives. We're playing number one, we're playing the best conference in the world. So that's gonna mean a lot right there off the bat. You know, Red West, you know, playing a great team in our last, our last game, you know, in the Red West. So for the playoff start, you know, we're gonna have to go out hard and just try to win, man. And right now, I want to give it my all. So that's my last game in the Red West, so I feel very comfortable and good about that.
Yeah. And that last game, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, you know. It's also gonna be a sad thing, you know, knowing that this is my last Red West basketball game in my high school career. But it's gonna be something that I'm gonna leave on the court that if people know, hey, Justin Moore is a great player. Marshall, Marshall Commandos, the year 2001 was real good. So that game depends on us bringing that title home. And we want it, we want it bad. And whatever it takes for us to get it, we gonna get it. No stopping us. We control our own destiny, like the headband say. You know, we control our own destiny. Yeah. Coach Williams may have turned off the lights, but his players don't need it. They got a light of their own, and none of them will let it go out. Coming up, Kelly and Justin get ready to throw down against Will Bynum and Crane for the Red West Conference title. Marshall versus Crane, the last game of the season before the playoffs, and the Red West Conference title is on the line. Will Bynum versus Kelly Whitney and Justin Bowen. This is the last high school regular season game they'll ever play. Look, have fun, man. This is the last regular season game. Hey, good luck to all of you. Whatever you do in our life, I'll see you later. Red West Division basketball game between the two best West Side teams in the city of Chicago, the Marshall Commanders and your Enough talking, fellas. Let's do this. In the first quarter of the game, both teams were trading baskets. In the second quarter, Marshall's Justin Bowen led his team to an eight-point lead. Crane's coach Longstreet calls a timeout to gather his troops. He feels his team's letting the game slip away. That means it's time for Will Bynum to step up. Will Bynum single-handedly brought his team back from 15 points down. He's a cold little man. Will Bynum is not giving up without a fight. Will got his team right back in the game, and the Crane fans are feeling it. Before Marshall knew it, Crane began to take a commanding lead in the game. Coach William knows his team is in trouble. Let's go, man. I ain't losing, man. With a minute left in the game, Marshall trailed by seven. But Crane kept missing free throws, leaving the door wide open. With 15 seconds left, Marshall had one last chance to tie the game with a three. Overtime. And Kelly Whitney's Miracle 3 kept Marshall's hopes alive. Kelly Whitney's praying for one more miracle. In overtime, Marshall made their run.
I ain't had their chance to win the title. But this was Marshall's game. That's what it's all about. Believing in your guys. Staying together. No matter what happens. Go ahead, Kelly. You guys deserve a last dance. It's your last game ever in Chicago's toughest division. They in my heart. They gonna be missed dearly, though. You know life goes on, so in the long run, we're going to catch up. We'll, we play again, or play against each other again. If it ain't in college, it's the NBA. <laughs> yeah, baby. We'll be there. The last time it'll be this pure. Coming up on preps. Some of the best ballers in Chicago get together for a game of pickup before the big tournament. Chilling with the superstars, man. Out here with good friends tonight, bitter rivals tomorrow. It's playoff time, you know what I'm saying? I know if we play Will and then he coming at me. Play Luther, he coming at me, so you know what I'm saying? We can't be cool on the court. Getting ready for the drive to the state championship oh, on the next preps. I'm the king of the black top, pooping half court shots. I come correct and stats to whack compared to points that I drop. I play the win and I'm playing for keeps. In the gym of 21 on the streets, I'ma keep bringing the heat, mad skill. My squad runs so